Hey, Anthony here <laughs> with another video tutorial. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to make a copy from your DVD or your hard drive. It's from the same location. So go ahead and if you have your DVD, go ahead and put it into your computer now. If you have a desktop, there's going to be a tray that pulls out. So you can hit your eject button or the eject button that's actually on your tower. Open it up and put your DVD in and slap it right in. If you have an all-in-one Mac like the one that I'm using, you're going to put your DVD in from the right hand side and put it in just right to the right until the computer grabs it. It's usually all the way. But make sure that the uh, the name of this DVD is actually facing you. Don't make it backwards. You don't want to see this side. You want to see the actual side that you're writing on. By now it's probably auto started. If you're using a DVD so go ahead and hit Command Q or Escape if you still want to see it and pause it on to the side. Okay so now it looks like this. You'll see the, the disc actually inside there. So if you, let's say for example, you either bought either a DVD and you want to make a copy of it or you have a, all your things on your older computer and you just bought a brand new uh, computer or a Mac or whatever you bought, congratulations. What you want to do is you want to take all your files, all your preferences, all your, com your software and you want to put it on an image and then bring it onto the next computer. And so let's, how, let's show you how to do that. So, got your computer going. Go ahead and go to the top where the finder menu is. Go utilities. Find utilities. I'm in column view. There's four different views I have. I like column view because I, I know what, right what I want to go to and it's in alphabetical order. Very organized. Go down to where you find disk utility. And you'll find this icon and then go ahead and double click on that. Okay, so on the left hand side, you'll see that here's our hard drive that we use. This is where all our files and all our software and all our preferences are stored. If you wanted to make an image of that, it's simple. Just click on this guy, go File, New, Disk Image from Disk Zero, which is the way the computer's way of saying this is your main drive, this is what we boot up from, this is what we start up from. And then to make the DVD, you just click on the DVD. If you go to the secondary thing, that's more of like the contents on it. If you go to the main thing, it's going to go to the root. If you've ever tried to copy a DVD before and you actually double clicked on it to explore what's on it, it doesn't show you all the files. There's hidden files that make it kind of auto run and make it act as a DVD. So this is how you do it. So click on this guy, go file, new image, uh, and it'll ask from here since you have it highlighted, that's what you want. Change the name. And so this one is Summer 08. And I'm just going to put it on the documents. Uh, and instead of image format, this is what you want to use for the hard drive. This is what you want to use for a DVD. So click on here, go DVD, and then you press save. Now it's going to create a CDR. That's just making it a master uh, file. Since I've done it already, I'm going to hit cancel. Since I've done it already, it's right here. So now I'm done with my DVD. So now I'm going to eject it from the computer. I don't need it here anymore, so I'm going to hit eject. Sometimes it takes a few seconds if you're reading and if it's reading from it. So I'm going to see if I can eject it this way. And while that's happening, so make sure that you have a blank DVD-R. There it goes. There we go. There he is. All right, so make sure you have a blank DVD-R minus R. DVD minus R. Okay, so I'm going to put this in this way. So I'm going to put it to the right. So you can do this with me or you can press pause or fast forward. Okay, as soon as that comes in, it's going to ask me, hey, you inserted a disk. What do you want to do? I'm just going to press OK because I already have a mission on mine. And then, I'll, and then I'm going to use, instead of this image here, which is gone, I'm now going to use this image. So as soon as that happens. All right, second a few seconds. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to come up here. I'm going to click on this, and then I'm going to hit burn. If I hit burn, it's going to say it's ready to do it, and then hit burn. All right? That easy. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you liked it, press like uh, and um, subscribe if you want. I'm going to have many more videos coming along the way. And if you have a, a video that you want to see uh, me explain, just go ahead and put that down or message me, and I'll get right back to you. Have a great day.